This redirects us to the company settings page. You can also re reach this page after you authenticate to iConnect um, by going to the left side menu panel under settings, basic settings, and selecting company settings. So we're going to go ahead now and we're going to fill out the uh, remaining fields here. So um, company code. Company codes are very handy if you have multi-site locations and you would like to have a code to distinguish one company from another. You can also use company codes um, for individual sites where you can um, place in a company code and that will show up on reporting, etc. Um, if you like. I'm going to go ahead and put my address information in here. Select my state, zip code, and on receipt address here, I'm going to go ahead and, and copy this address for ease. And this is the address that is going to show up on uh, my receipt, so I'm placing my business address here. I could also um, add signature text to appear on my receipt if I wish, and then receipt text. Um, currently, we have thank you for your business. I'm going to go ahead and place an exclamation point there. And we're going to look at customer receipt number. If you'd like to have your receipts numbered individually via your own um, customer receipt number, you could do that here by adding this information in. If you elect to create your own website, you can click on the View My Website here. Actually creating uh, the creation process of that website um, is handled in the marketing area over here under Marketing and My Website, but you could access it from this area as well. We're going to go ahead and select a time zone. I'm in Mountain Time, so I'm going to go ahead and find that from the list, and there it is. I'm going to leave my currency at U.S. dollars, and since this, um, my company um, is, an, is an orchard that also has a restaurant, so I'm going to enable tips. And I am going to enable booking because we do book appointments for tours, so I'm going to enable that. Now, the next selection is enable simple booking. I could either have enable booking on or simple booking on, not both. So the difference between those, enable booking is if you'd like to book any future appointments. Enable simple booking is was basically um, set up for walk-in appointments. So let's say there is a um, a haircut establishment that only um, allows for walk-in appointments. Simple book booking would justify uh, very well for that because they're able to um, make a record of their walk-in appointments, but they're not looking to book future appointments. Enable appointment reminder, I would like that on. Enable cash register, this needs to be enabled in order to use the register. Enable refund receipt, I would like that. Enable Smart Shelves. Um, this I would like to be enabled so that I can see my products and services on the Smart Shelves. Enable Lookbook. I would like that on. The Lookbook is a feature um, in the uh, customer profile um, that you can use, but in order to use that in the customer profile, you need to have that enabled here. Um, in the video covering customer management, it goes into how to use the lookbook. Um, so you could check out that video for that information. Um, but this company settings um, page is very important because in order for features, uh, these features to work in iConnect, they have to be enabled here. So this is always a good place to come to make sure that you have everything either enabled or disabled so that you can um, use those features in other areas of the system. An example of that as well is the Use GiveX gift card. Now if this is enabled here, you can use this specific gift card, GiveX, 
um, the majority of, of um, businesses um, will go in and use the gift card um, that comes with the system by default in the gift card setup. Um, and that is going to be um, in another video that will be covered under gift card usage. The logo for receipt. And uh, let's say I wanted a picture of um, my apple orchard to show on my receipt. I would go ahead and select the file, select the picture that I placed on my desktop, click open, and the apple orchard picture appears here. You can use your smartphone to take a picture for your logo for your receipt, place that picture on your desktop as I just did, upload it here, and that will appear on the receipt. And it sizes very, very well. If you need additional sizing, you can use another software such as Photoshop um, in order to do that um, prior to uploading it into the iConnect application. Next, we're going to go up and look at another tab available on the company settings page, and that is business hours. So business hours a default in your system from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And of course, you can go in here and change any of these. And let's say you want to add one. Let's say my orchard's open on Saturday. I'd go ahead and click in the field, click the clock icon. And let's say it opens at 9 a.m. on Saturdays and it closes at 5 p.m. I'd go ahead and select those times and hit save. This covers um, the company settings page, how to sign up for a new account, as well as signing into your account.